Hola! Um, well, this is, I guess, more of a serious post than normal. Um, most posts are kind of serious anyways. Ah, my throat hurts today, and I'm actually home alone. <laughs> and, uh, oh no, crazy internet stalkers gonna find me for saying that. Um, just kidding. But I'm home alone, so I can be louder, but my voice hurts, so probably not too much louder. Um, anyways, I've noticed that I don't wear makeup every single time I make a video. I guess I'm comfortable with myself when I'm by myself. <laughs> Actually, my mom invited 10 teenage boys over today. So ladies, come to my house and find all the men, because I already have one. So anyways, um, okay, so the point of this video, as a lot of you will probably know by knowing me personally, is about the person who told my mother about this channel. Hi, you. Okay, so I know that I've been really aggressive on Facebook about this, which may be a regret in a little bit, because I regret a bunch of stuff all the time, but like, I guess I just wanted to make this video to show you my point of view, whoever you are, who did this um, because probably you didn't mean to do all the damage that you are doing. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to try to make you see from my point of view and also share with other people so that if they have ever had a parent do what they're doing to me, then they could be like, oh yeah, girl, preach it. Um, yeah. So, basically, someone told my mother about my YouTube channel and my video Psycho Nickelback Loving Boyfriend, which, if you will notice, does not exist anymore because of this. <laughs> mm. So, um, basically I talked about an ex-boyfriend that I had and uh, the person who told my mother was concerned that the boyfriend treated me wrong. And, uh, I mean, yes and no. I treated them wrong and they treated me wrong and we're not dating anymore. That's kind of how ex-boyfriends work, like something wrong happened. So, yeah, there was something wrong. Uh, kind of a silly question. I might be, I might have heard it wrong of how this actually went down because my mother won't tell me who told and I wish that she would so I could just confront you instead of doing this because this is kind of rude, I guess, but that's the only way I can effectively tell you my feelings, I guess. Uh, but so they worried that, like, maybe something went wrong. He never hit me or was verbally abusive or anything like that. Uh, just, like, a bunch of serious personality differences. Um, I'm very liberal, I guess, but not politically. Uh, just, like, I'm very open-minded and I'm very opinionated and I like to hear other people's opinions and he was very conservative and as we all know that is like the worst mix you could ever have. <laughs> no matter what they say, opposites sometimes do not attract at all and that is definitely one of them. So that is the main reason why we broke up and that is, I guess I'm still kind of bitter because he was my first, like, big boyfriend, like, big person that I ever fell in love with, I guess, at a really early age, so it's still really sensitive and personal, as first loves always are and always will be since the history of time. So I guess I kind of was bitter, but I was really just making that video to be comical and make people laugh, and by my feedback, I would say that it worked. I had a bunch of people say that it was really funny and you know, that my channel is really funny and to keep doing what I'm doing, which is really, like, overwhelmingly nice because I never really thought <clears throat> of making more than, like, one video. And, um, my throat really hurts. Um, <laughs> so that was kind of awesome to hear all the positive feedback. 
so I didn't really think there was anything wrong with it until this happened. And um, if I seemed offensive about him, I'm sorry. But um, I really was just doing it in a satire-like manner. And I guess some of my bitterness influenced that. But um, really, I just was joking. And, like, I'm pretty sure everybody knew that. And I'm pretty sure even if he saw it, that he would know. But if he did see it and took offense, I'm, I am sorry. I don't want to offend you and hurt you. And I maybe even offended the person who told on me. So I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings too. And then the next question she asked my mother was, well, the boyfriend, if he saw this, would he be offended? And my mother told me that it was too offensive and to take it down, basically. Um, actually, it was my choice to take it down because my mother kept bothering me. And, um, and she still is doing that, if we're going to be honest. And that's kind of what I wanted this vlog to be like, is honest, because a lot of people don't like to share their personal lives and stuff like that on the internet, and I think that's right in the sense of don't say names and stuff, but, you know, your experiences have happened to you, why not share them with the world? I want to be a writer, I like to share my life, like, that's what an author does, is takes bits of themselves and makes sure everyone sees, and they're not afraid of it, and I'm an actress, and... I mean, I'm not like a great actor. I'm not like, oh, I'm an actress, but like, we're talking to people. I'm dramatic. I like to make things funny, and I like to take my real life experiences and turn them into something everyone can enjoy. Especially if I didn't enjoy it at the time. It's like a healing process. So, and then the major thing is that my mother found out that I had a YouTube channel. And not because I was planning on doing anything sneaky on here, but just because my parents are very involved in my life. Um, not like obsessive crazy parents, but just like I tell my mom everything. And um, lately my family is a little bit fragile, I guess you could say. And just I wanted something for me just because I'm an adult now and I still live with my parents and I feel like they're directing my whole life right now and I just wanted something that was just me expressing myself and not without criticism from them. From other people, I think I could handle, really. Um, but because it was my parents, um, it's a little more intrusive, I guess. And uh, I've really been struggling with my relationship with my parents and adding something for them to nag about, no offense to them, uh, just something for them to have an issue with added to the stuff that is my business that isn't like worthy of making fun of yet um it just makes it really hard to get along even more and so by telling my mother that i had a youtube channel and asking you know should jenna be doing this is this what she should be doing it actually caused a lot more trouble than it was actually worth you asking so um I'm sorry if I've offended you with my Facebook post, but really I just want to know who it was so they could, so I could tell them personally, and I'm telling everybody now, is that you took my one spot where I was free to be myself without my parents' um, influence coming in and changing it into something that's not myself, and um, you took that and now my YouTube channel will be monitored by my mom and my dad. And I know that I'll have to take down other videos in the future because we don't see eye to eye. And that's just really hurtful to me, especially because I know the person who told my mom will know me personally. And uh, you should have come to me first. I'm an adult. Chances are you're an adult. And uh, let's act like adults and not tattle. If we're just going to call it like it is, I was tattling. So you could have come to me directly and knock on behind my back. And I know I sound like I'm a kid who got her way, um, you know, didn't get her way, I mean to say. Um, and I sound kind of bratty and like a jerk, but I thrive on expression. And I have lately felt really crushed with that aspect of me.
and that just kind of added to it. And, it, and maybe this was just the wrong time. Like, maybe I would have taken this a totally different way if it wasn't if my family was already kind of breaking. <laughs> if we're going to be honest. just And I think that's probably just because, you know, I'm trying to spread my wings and they keep getting clipped. And so I guess you clipped a little too close. So hopefully I didn't offend anybody, and I know this video is long, but I just thought that I should get that out there and explain myself in a more civil way and face-to-face, -face, even though I can't see you. Now, whoever you are, you know where I stand. So I'm not going to make any more Facebook posts, and I'm not going to say anything else. Um, if you personally want to talk to me, then that is fine, and if not, I'm just going to have to live with that. And if any of you feel um, anything, you can comment below, or you can personally email me, or anything. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll make a happier post next time. Bye, guys.